Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm a yarn addict. Well, guess what? I got to 250, so it's giveaway time. Giveaway, give. I'm not gonna act like that. No, I am gonna show y'all what you're gonna get for my upcoming giveaway. And uh, I've got a few things I'm going to show y'all first, so y'all just stay tuned for a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm giving away, and tell y'all the good rules and everything like that to it. I haven't done a lot this weekend. First of all, I was sitting around not crocheting and really not doing much of anything, and I looked, and I was up to 230 on my subscribers and I said well when I get to 250 I'll have a giveaway well the next time I looked I was at 251 and I said oh my where did everybody come from but I'm so thankful you did oh I'm so thankful all of y'all y'all have just blown me away because I've told y'all before I didn't ever think I'd get 10 I thought well maybe my two grandkids maybe Two of my kids, my sister, that would have been, what, four or five, maybe six out of my family. My husband, I made him subscribe. <laughs> what else can you do except for make your husband subscribe to your own channel? So, I thought ten at the most. And uh, I just started, y'all just started coming. And I am so thankful. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, I want y'all to realize that. I really do. From the bottom of my... I got to talking too fast. From the bottom of my heart, I do. I am truly sincere about that. And I appreciate y'all watching me. Well, let me just show y'all what little bit I did this weekend. I've been crocheting on this blanket that I said I'm going to just use to throw over me when I'm sitting in here crocheting and a little cool instead of turning the heat up and all good stuff like that. I thought, why not crochet you a blanket? I had one, like a little quilt top that I always used, and last year I must have washed it and folded it up and put it away well. Put it up so well that I can't find it. How about that? But, I thought, I, yeah, these are what I did. I did another pair of slippers. These are for my sister. I don't know where the other one of these went, but these are for my sister. And then, let me turn them right. I did some itty bitty ones for my little grandbaby girl. Aren't those so cute? She got two itty bitty purple slippers. <laughs> I'm on to her some more. I just love crocheting these little slippers. They're adorable. She's just now start well. Yeah, I'm sorry. I always get on here and get to talking and feel like I got something all over my mouth. Got a napkin. Now, uh, she's just almost eight months old. And she's trying her best to walk. She's pulling herself up on everything and walking or holding on to the couch and walking around it and just doing everything. I'm going to take it to drink from my sweet tea. <laughs> like a commercial. Sweet tea. You can't get anything any better. You know, you're from the South. When you go somewhere and ask for sweet tea up north or other parts of the country and you say you know ice sweet tea and they go well we have iced tea but it's not sweet and I go do what no really <laughs> uh, oh yeah and I'm still working for my oldest 26 year old granddaughter this shawl I've been working on for her I should have just done it out of ice yarn, and uh, then I would have had my ice yarn, but no, that wouldn't be fair. I got to do something with the ice yarn to give away uh, to the needy, so I 
got this for all this. I'm just doing double crochets, two lines of double, then a line of triple, then two double. Just put, she wanted it to be a little warm and not lacy or anything, so I told her I'd do it like that, and she said that'd be great. So, rules of the giveaway. Y'all, I'll ship it anywhere as long as your country will, you know, let you accept it. I'll, uh, but if there's any duties or taxes or anything like that, when it gets to your country, that's your responsibility. Once I give it to my post office and pay what I'm supposed to there, then it's out of my hands. It's gone. Uh, everybody can enter one comment. I'm going to use the YouTube comment picker and it'll filter out, you know, more than one. So you comment on this video. You go below and comment on this video. Make sure first you're subscribed to me, the little button right down there, right there, or either right there, somewhere on one side of your screen. It says subscribe Will you hit that and then the notification bell beside it, you hit that where you'll get all my notifications, I mean notifications, hopefully if YouTube does it. So when I come on, you watch my videos. And um, told you worldwide, ship it anywhere, anything though out of my hands, I'll pay for the shipping. Mm. There's probably a lot more I should have told y'all, but that's basically the rules. Oh, wait. I knew there was one thing I wanted to do. And knocking everything down. I'm going to start doing a few shout-outs each week. I'm going to pick one day out of the week, and today's my day for doing a few shout-outs for a few channels that I hope y'all will go over and watch. These are not in any order. I just kind of went through my list and I picked out. I've got several. Several. But I'm going to pick out about four or five of them today and then the next time. When I decide what week I'm going to do my shout outs, then y'all will know. I might do them every time I make a video. Who knows? Anyway, Loopy Angie, she is a doll. I love her to death. Y'all need, it's Loopy Angie. Uh, I don't think the Loopy may be capitalized. I don't know if I wrote that just right. But uh, y'all go over and check her out. She's from the UK, and I just love watching her stuff. And then Cindy Moulter, uh, love her channel. She's just got to 200. And y'all go watch her. She's a doll. Uh, Noni26 has changed her name to Gran Granny Beanie. Y'all go over there and watch her. I love watching her. She's just a hoot. I love it. And the Crochet Nurse. Y'all go see her. She's got a lot of information on giving us some health information about crocheting and things like that and I think I'll, I know what all I've watched has been really interesting. She's done some tutorials and uh, she's got a lot of good information so y'all go watch them. So those are my shout outs for today and I appreciate if y'all go check all those channels, well those few channels that I mentioned. Appreciate if y'all go check them out. They're all really good. So now for what I'm having in the giveaway. I've got these Ferris wheels. Isn't that pretty? Let me tell you about them. It's 270 yards, and up here on the little thing, it says one of these will make a scar. Uh, let me get my glasses off again. It's a medium number four, and machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic. These are by Lime Brand, and the colorway is Full Moon. So I've got three, like three of these that I'm doing in the giveaway. And then 
this from Yarn B. I think I showed y'all this when I did a shawl that I did. It is the rainbow wrap, like a wrap sir D. And I guess the colorway right here, I can't see in it on it. Something daydreams. Can y'all read that? Well, that's what that is about it. <laughs> anyway, this is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, and there's 918 yards in this. And I made a beautiful shawl out of it. I did put another yarn with it, but uh, it was just a black yarn. But it was beautiful. It says on this that it's a uh, number one super fine, but they are, it is little, you know. But I classify it more as getting almost to a two. Um, it's kind of in between, you know, kind of one, kind of two, whichever. But I told you what it's 60% cotton, 40 acrylic. And I told y'all I was going to read these little things when it's just got the symbols on the machine washing stuff. I think it's hand wash and lay flat to dry, but when y'all get it, you can read what it says on there. It's uh, 7 ounces. Let me go over here and see if it tells the 198 grams and 918 yards. It's real. If I made something again with it, I'd just do it by itself. If I wanted another shawl this color, I'd just do it with a bigger needle and make it out of that itself where it'd be loose and real drapey. And I think that would be beautiful. But whoever wins, I'll do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so, but that's what the three... Balls of Ferris wheel, and it's full moon. I did tell y'all the name of it, and they're three, and they're all alike. And then the one ball of 918 yards of the yarn bee. And uh, I've got just a little surprise that'll go with it. So all of y'all comment in this video, and the video's going to start right now. And it's going to go... What time is it? Around 2. We'll just put it at 2 o'clock on um, today, Monday, January the 13th. And I'm terrible. I didn't look up the days. But I'm going to have it to run for 7 days. So, well, that's going to be the day that we all on the 20th when we do the 2020 challenge. I'm going to let it run till Tuesday, January the 21st at 2 o'clock. I'll pick the drawing and announce it sometime a little after 2 o'clock on Tuesday, January the 21st. So I hope y'all are all having a good day. And um, I've been watching a lot of channels this weekend and just had a great time watching everybody. So y'all, if you've got a day where you're just sitting around, just start watching everybody's channel and show everybody some love. But y'all, please subscribe. Like this video, I didn't think I told y'all that. You gotta subscribe, like this video, and comment on this video to be entered into the giveaway. And once again, I want y'all always to keep y'all, y'all, y'all in there. <laughs> I love y'all. I really do. I want y'all always to keep coming back because I'm going to be here, and I love you.